So this week's video is going to be about a cookie mug cake. It's going to be topped with whipped cream and it's going to be really good. I know it's hard to be home so I thought this would be a nice quick and easy recipe. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe in the description box below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. For this recipe I'm going to be using a mug. This is a six ounce mug. Just any mug you want and it's going to go in the microwave. So make sure it's microwave safe. This is gonna be a really good recipe. I love to top it with whipped cream or ice cream. It makes it taste really good. I hope you guys will like the recipe. I'm gonna start off this recipe by using a little bit of melted butter. We're gonna use this later in it. So I'm just taking a little bit, I'm gonna coat it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. You could use oil as well. Once you've lightly coated the mug, you can start putting in the ingredients. The first thing I'm going to do is separate the egg yolk from the egg white. We're going to use the egg yolk for the recipe. I'm just going to put it between these, make sure it doesn't break. And then when I've separated most of it, it's a little messy right now. I'm going to put it in the mug. After the egg yolk gets added to the mug, we're going to put sugar in. So I'm going to use a half a tablespoon of brown and white sugar. And then we're going to mix it together after this. Now we're going to mix this together. I'm going to use a fork to combine this until it's well combined. This is what the egg mixture should look like. It's just egg and sugar. Now that the sugar and butter is combined, I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour, all-purpose white flour. I'm going to put the flour in the mug. If you use salted butter, which we're going to add in a second, you don't need to put any salt in this recipe. I put in the butter at the end because otherwise the mixture gets very dry. Not sure why, but I notice that it comes out the best when I put the butter in at the end. Just mix the flour and butter sugar mixture. Time to add the butter. This is going to be a tablespoon of melted butter. Make sure to let it sit before you put it in. Otherwise it can alter the cookie texture. We're going to mix now. It's going to look like yellow dough. And finally, we're going to add two tablespoons of chocolate chips. You could, this is like a really good amount. If you want less, you can always add less. It's like a cookie. It's like a cookie cake mixture. When, once you cook it, it's really good. Once the cookie looks all ready, you can put it in the microwave for a minute. Once the cookie's done with the microwave, this is what it should look like. To add on top of the recipe, the cookie, I'm going to make some whipped cream. I know, So I'm going to make whipped cream in this bowl. I know it's a big bowl, but it's the only bowl that I have. And it does make it easier if you have like a taller bowl, so it, a bowl, so it doesn't get all over the countertop. Now I'm going to make the whipped cream. First you're going to need some heavy cream. And I'm going to use a half a cup of that. This will make probably more than you need, but it's easier that way, and then you could just store it in an airtight container when you're done. So I put in half a cup of whip, of heavy whipping cream in the bowl. Next I'm going to take um, a half a tablespoon of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is better to use than white sugar because it, it makes it um, more creamy. There's no like grains in it. I like my um, whipped cream a little less sugary. So you're welcome to put more if you want. And then finally, we're going to put a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. A little more, it's fine. And then I'm going to use an electric mixer to um, whip it. I recommend um, blending it until it's um, medium or stiff peaks. Stiff is a little bit better because it's um, a thicker one. So now I'm going to whip it up and I'm going to use, this is a Cuisinart electric mixer. And you're going to mix it until... 
medium peaks. Just um, blend it for like two minutes. Make sure that you don't blend it too much. I mean, whip it too much, or otherwise it will turn into butter. So this, now I'm gonna mix it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. This is what the mixture should look like. So stiff peaks is when you pick up um, the um, electric mixer and it just kind of um, goes up. Now we're gonna add the whipped cream to the mug. And then I'm gonna use a rubber spatula to um, top it onto our mug. So this is what it should look like. And it's gonna look really good. So I hope you guys like it. This is what the cookie topped with whipped cream should look like. It's really good. Thank you so much for watching. I'm happy you made it to the end of the video. Like this video if you liked the content. Thank you.